Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the fifth installment of What's in Your Earbuds. I'm here with my friend and my uh, my co-host, Joe Harden. We have a great episode for you today, but before we get this thing started and I turn it over to Joe, uh, I, I just want to thank take my time to thank everybody for the reception we've gotten on the Everyday Athlete Podcast Network. I was just kind of looking at the followers and the numbers. And ever since we launched this thing on June 25th, it's been amazing. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know uh, what the EAPN is, we have seven amazing shows on the EAPN. This Tuesday, you can catch Running Tales with Craig Lewis. He'll be talking to their Mesh Mystery for the seventh installment of Running Tales. And then on Wednesday, we got the Fireside Chats. Sorry, make that Tuesday. <laughs> Tuesday, we got the Fireside Chats. Uh, we'll have some fiery embers, which are shorter shows that are 20, 25 minutes long, popping up with some people from the Run Tribe Bike community. And every other Thursday, I think you got one coming up this Thursday, uh, we have an episode of Beyond the Finish Line. Is it this Thursday? Uh, the 13th. Sorry, I, I kind of had to work around that my next guest, uh, so it's a Friday, which would be a little bit different. Uh, Jennifer Goins, <laughs> who just completed Coconut 250, who has a yeah beautiful resume of of some really 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 epic uh, ultra distance and i cannot wait to chat with jennifer i can't wait to check that episode out and for those of you guys who need to find the dates it'll all be on our platform there'll be promos all over and uh you'll also be able to find them on the podcast in the days following so be sure to look up this show every other monday and shows just like this on the everyday at the week podcast network Joe, we put out last week a inquiry to our friends from the Run Tribe Bike community about songs that have the word run in it. And I feel like this has been a long time coming, but you put out a reel last week and the reception just blew my mind. Oh, yeah. Uh, absolutely blew my blew me away. Like I, I was trying to do my best to even catch up and keep up with the response, which is awesome. So um yeah, super stellar reception and a lot of really, really killer tunes too. Uh, this playlist is just an absolute piece of, of artwork now. But yeah, I couldn't believe the reception uh, we got from that that cool, neat challenge. So, man, are there any songs in there? Are there any songs in there that really caught your eye? And we'll obviously go through the list. But are there any where you were like, man, this is one of my jams? Oh, well, it was so not one of my jams, but now it's definitely going to be a new jam to me. And um, uh, run, what's, the, what's the handle? Hold on. Uh, my bad. So sorry. Run, eat, no. pasta. So that's Katie, right? Uh, she posted uh, Running by Farside. And my goodness, that song is an absolute jam and a half. I think I listened to it like six times straight. It's so good. That one really stuck out to me. Uh, and one that really got me excited was my my spouse, my loving spouse, actually put uh, Run the World by Beyonce on there. So I was really excited. Then I've got another one of my family members on the playlist now. So that got me really fired up. Yeah, you've. Yeah. Your yeah. you and your family has great taste in songs. Like I've seen the add <laughs> to the playlist and it's been amazing. You brought up Beyonce and I was looking at DJ Chippy sent like a million songs. Yeah. Um and yeah, one that baby. caught my eye is uh Run This Town with Jay Z uh Feet Rihanna and Kanye West. Uh Run This Town. Um that one and that one caught my mind because um, we were talking about Beyonce and you got to give a shout out to Jay-Z when you're talking about Beyonce. But that that's, that's always been a banger for me. And I mean, I've seen like the Beatles and Foo Fighters and there's been some amazing submissions. We're going to have to go through this list. I, I can't remember. I think we both submitted a song too, but I think mine was uh, Run Boy Run by Woodkid. Oh, yeah, yeah. Somebody else even suggested that song. Um, it might have been Josh Ho Hobing, who I met. No, no, no. Yeah, Josh Hobing from Ten Jump Miles from the Nation actually put that one on there too. So that's super rad that that came up twice. Shout out to Ooh. Josh. I met I met him through uh, Ten Jump Miles and that crew. So shout out to Ten Jump Miles. Uh, 
Here's another surprising one. Uh, it's it's Jason. It's surprising because Jason submitted a song that wasn't by the Pet Shop Boys. It was Walk This Way by Run DMC. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw that. And it was the old flipperoo because it was like the artist's name um, is Run DMC. And it's the song is Walk This Way. But I like that. Oh. I also like the incorporation of walk into it, too. <laughs> it's like a, it's like that song is an ultra song. It's like run, walk. OK, <laughs> cool. Uh, yeah. So my buddy Eric, who I'm running uh, Prairie on Fire this weekend with, he submitted a George Strait song run. That's a classic, too. Uh, me and Eric met at Prairie on Fire. We have ran ever since together. We're rerunning Prairie on Fire this weekend. Shout out to uh, the MTC track for you, too. Uh, my buddy Danny Pritchard put an Iron Maiden jam on there. I met Danny at the Momo 400K. We shared a lot of grueling late night hours together. That was cool that he uh, chimed in. Ready to oh. run by the chicks. Stefan, I met Stefan at uh, Prairie on Fire last year. Another. Wow. I keep, I keep meeting these really, really rad people at backyards. And I, and, it, and you share like a trauma bond with them. And you end up talking to them, you know, every, you know, every so often after those things so do you feel like that trauma bonding carries over to music bonding as well it absolutely must and it's like showing up in this list every because i i'll see someone that's missing something oh i know them from you know whatever it, you know so yeah absolutely 100 percent. man that yeah. is just it's just so cool <laughs> and i have to agree when i was doing bigfoot 200 and i was with one of my pacers we blasted music the whole way down um and we were just like exchanging songs and um i think i talked about it but that spirit of like somebody else like joining in and singing along um just is just an amazing experience um and i also i was also looking at this list and i just noticed like there's run like hell by pink floyd as well um i see a carly ray jepson song nah, that's a name i have not heard in a long time since maybe call me maybe actually <laughs> uh yeah let's see we got running up that hill zach hawkins i met zach at ground on the grid he just oh, did shawnee yeah he, he just did shawnee yeah uh, actually he just he just commented on that he uh just ran shawnee hills 100k absolutely crushed it it's a really really hard 100k apparently um so shout out to zach hawkins awesome awesome we yeah. got and run by cheryl sanford uh the song is called and run i believe and it's by sir sly um uh shout out to cheryl sanford she's a longtime run try bike fan and she submitted her story on our platform as well i would highly encourage you guys to check out cheryl sanford's inspiring story but she's just a beacon of light in the running community and we love cheryl so shout out to cheryl yeah shout out to cheryl oh always has something like really good and inspiring to say, and also has great taste in music on top of all that. So shout out to Cheryl. Uh, shout out to Krista Drumright. Uh, oh yeah. Is that, is that a friend of yours too? <laughs> yeah. Army Chico one, Krista. Uh, we do, Krista goes to anytime fitness. We do a lot of boot camps together. Really, really rad person. Uh, Probably the most well-versed person I know in all things hiking in Central India, in the Midwest, probably. Always has a good park to tell you about and a good trail to tell me about. Um, yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, good good tune, too. Yeah, got me, that song got me pumped up. It, it like, kind of randomly came on yesterday while I was running. So. Dadu Ron Ron? Yeah. I, I, I didn't know who who that song, like, what that song actually was, but I remember hearing those at like local 5Ks now. Like as like a good little start like starting line song. Um, so I want to step away from running songs for a minute and talk about a song that came up from compassion activist Lisa Marie Fosdale Griffin, a good friend of mine. Uh, she brought up the song Dance Monkey. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and we were talking about how Jason has to play that song the entire time he's doing his next race, and I gotta do it too. But man, let's talk about Dance Monkey. I I listened to the two different versions of that song. I think there were like a couple of different versions of Dance Monkey on the album. I'm pulling up Spotify right now, but <laughs> that that song gets stuck in your head. Even just talking about it, it's getting stuck in my head right now. 
Yeah, it's I didn't think I didn't know where I heard that song before. And I just realized so I don't, this may be sound maybe not something everybody so my daughter has to have music for like getting ready in the morning for school and like showering, all that stuff. And I was just like, where have I heard this song before? It's like my daughter's like getting ready for a school like playlist. That's like one of her go-tos. I was like, so yeah, it, it makes it extra special. Plus that song is an absolute bop is what I'll say. <laughs> that song is an, no, seriously, that song is an absolute banger. It's on my ultra playlist now. Uh, I also, I also got to give you a shout out for boys in the hood uh, by dynamite hack. <laughs> Cause that one is, stuck in my head now too and i've made that on quite a few runs um and then i have to give a shout out hearkening back to our last episode to adam Ture because something's on her mind by clock cleaner is on my playlist now oh it's so good yeah it's on my too now like yeah but I, he he recommended a few things and but that but that one was just really really good not not that any of them were bad but yeah, that song is definitely on my like playlist now. He's um he included a f- couple songs uh, on the episode that are like genres I would never listen to, but when I jumped into it, I was like, "Oh my god, like this is like an entirely new gateway for music." Oh yeah. Man, and that's what this is all about. Like I I love that some of the stuff. There's no way I would ever listen to some of these songs. And now that, now that they've been put in front of me, like it makes me take like these little like side trips down genres that I would never like. Not that I wouldn't listen to them, I just don't even, wouldn't even know about them, or I wouldn't have come across them like organically. So it's just so rad to like have this kind of like an open playlist for. I mean, we got some like, really good. I mean, we got a few quite a few people that have shared on it this week too. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm just, I'm stoked. Um, yeah, so, so, so before we dive into what episode six, our special episode six is going to be all about, uh, I want to talk about you have an upcoming race that, you know, we just talked about several times when we were talking about run songs and it's a race that you did last year as well. So talk about that upcoming race a bit and tell the audience what's going to be in your earbuds for that one. Um. So Prairie on Fire was my first ultra distance. And so it's like this whole full circle thing for me. It's where I met Cameron Balzer, which you know I'm sure most most people have heard about Cameron Balzer. He ran the printer of the country, um, set to run the world record of mileage for the year. I got a chance to write a really cool article about him, part one of the article anyways. So in my earbuds, I'll, uh, I'll probably be talking a lot. Of, I'll be playing a lot of catch up because – Prairie on Fire is like the coolest run club vibe ever. But when things get dark, I'm going to, and I actually, I'm going to have to uh, give credit where credit is due with what's been, what's been in my earbuds, or probably will be in my earbuds, is ever since I met Elliot Matson, I've been listening to, he uh, wrote and directed and produced his own audio book, composed all the music uh, called Henry Hanson Lived and Died. And it is an absolute epic, epic journey. Like he sent me the audio book and I have not been able to stop. So that might be my earbuds a little bit off and on. Cause it is so, like, I'm just captured by, uh, he, he wrote, I think he wrote seven books so far. I don't know if he did audio books of all of them. He narrates them. So I got to give a shout to Elliot owner of folklore apparel. Um, he's been really, really cool to get to know since that podcast. And so that, that might, that'll probably be my earbuds for a little bit. But and then this this like growing growing playlist. If anybody wants to throw any songs at me to listen to while at Prairie on Fire, just keep popping the stuff in the playlist, and I'll I'll get any I'll give anything a listen. So yeah, that guy is insanely talented. Like he from the from the day like I told his story to him being on Beyond the Finish Line. Uh, it's just it's amazing how many hats he's worn in his life. <laughs> including uh writing six books and i was just completely in awe when i was listening to the conversation between you two and uh just spoiler spoiler like at some point we are going to have elliot matson on the show because he is 
a musician um and i'm excited to get his take on music and what's in his earbuds um so we can't wait to have elliot on the show down the line um so i i want to tell you really quick about what's been in my earbuds recently uh so i've kind of been ramping back up to start putting in some heavy road miles. I've been less on the trail, more on hard surfaces training for the Moab. So a lot of the stuff I've been listening to is switching over to like my shuffling music. So it's like, um, I've got like Imagine Dragons, like on top of the world was a song that really hit me on my highest highs during the uh, Bigfoot 200. And I haven't been able to get it off my list since then. Um, I've been listening to a lot more metal. I've put on some biscuits, some corn, Agent oh, Orange, a nice. uh, little bit of Slipknot. Uh, I've even and I've <laughs> got to have affirmation song too by Snoop Dogg. <laughs> I know it's like a change up, but um, <laughs> my um, if you know me at this point, you know my playlist is all over the place. So. <laughs> <laughs> but that's kind of what's been in my earbuds, and that, and I've just been listening to all the songs on our amazing playlist, which you all can contribute to as well. We'll put up the link every few days. Yeah, I love this. Like, it's kind of cool because it almost takes uh, it almost takes the work out of having a, like a really good playlist. And I just realized that just now that we're talking, it's like kind of relieving to have this play- playlist now. Like you know, like if you're logging some really, really serious time on feet, just throwing that plate, like throwing the EAP and playlist on kind of takes the guesswork out of it. If if you just let the playlist happen and that's kind of what I've been doing on some of my, on my road runs lately is just throwing on the playlist, playing it. I mean, not only just to do homework for this podcast, but just to kind of see like, it's like kind of cool having your finger on the pulse on the awesome people that exist in the, in the run, try bike and EAP and network. Like, so, and you can tell our, our music is pretty rad and it's all over the place. Just kind of like our playlist is. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's such a super rad thing that, uh, that we're doing here. Or that yeah, you're there's, doing. Uh, there's such an extreme diversity of like songs in our playlist. Um, I noticed like Benzy box is one I'm going to have to listen to. Uh, I saw a classic by the black eyed peas in there. Like, yeah, that's one that's, <laughs> that was like the life of a lot of like parties in the late nineties and two thousands. <laughs> um, but that's a good one. I've seen like, uh, scorpions and Van Halen and Europe. And, um, it's just, and like music themes. I saw your inclusion of the super Mario brothers theme. <laughs> that, <one. laughs> that, that came because you had sent me that, that, uh, MC Fett. And so I was oh, like, yeah. I would, yeah, like, like you sent me that song and I hit play and I just like kind of let, let it go. And like all these like really cool soundtracks came up. And then, uh, I think that was around the time that, um, that, uh, my, that Nick, <laughs> that Conrad Lyman had sent me like the DuckTales and like yeah. Mission Impossible. So I think my Spotify playlist was just like, well, I guess we're listening to soundtracks now. So like, <laughs> So, yeah, I got a lot, a lot of good soundtrack stuff out of that little deep dive that we did for that week. I'm probably throwing off your algorithm all over the place by sending you stuff like the Mario, like the Mario <laughs> level, like the level for that, like the song for that final level or something like that. And then sending you like that gif of like the Ninja Turtles, like getting it, you know, <laughs> like I got I got to put that on like our stories or something because it seems to match every song, no matter what the song. I see it on like literally anything having to do with songs, and I see this <laughs> other one with like Winnie the Pooh dancing with Ariel, and like just <laughs> it, it cracks me up every single time because those boys are getting it, <laughs> just getting it. Like every every single song, I watched it way way longer than I care to admit too, because I was like. <laughs> <laughs> It's just it's so good. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that gif lives rent free in my in my mind and heart now. This might just have to be the reel. I might post this reel and I might throw in the gif in the back of the reel. <laughs> Man. Well, before we put a before we put a bow on this episode let's talk i want to talk about the amazing show that we have coming up for you in two weeks with uh 
Jason Hanley from Wild Sense Goods and Kenneth Anderlich. And we have a few other guests that we want to line up. But uh, Jason and I were talking um, a few weeks back about how there's almost an entire genre, or I shouldn't say genre, there's an almost an entire like heartbeat to music for people who are um, going through, go in sobriety. Like there is uh, sober music almost like, and I don't think that it fits in any one genre or anything like that. Like I feel, and I want your take on this, but I feel like there's like, there's like songs that I think are directly about sobriety. And then there's songs that might not be about sobriety or an addiction, but they still hit you the right way. Cause they like tap into like a, a core moment or something like that. Oh yeah, absolutely. I, I had some songs that maybe weren't like necessarily about sobriety, like you just said, but like I'll listen to them now. It's like, and they really helped me like in really tough and dark times. But now I can look now when I listen to them, it kind of reminds me of like, Oh wow. I actually overcame all that stuff. So it's like, yeah, it's, to your point, it, like it helped me through a lot of stuff. And it, now it kind of reminds me of like what I went through. And I, I could put a pin in one song because I've got like quite a few that helped me through stuff or that kind of still remind me of overcoming all the, yeah, absolutely agree with that. Yeah, there are truly a couple songs. There might be one or two songs that have absolutely nothing to do with sobriety, but I heard them during like key moments of my struggles. And so they're like almost tied to almost like, you know, almost like a song that you heard in childhood that's tied to a good memory or something like the DuckTales theme or something like that, you know, like it's just tied to like a core memory. So I'm excited to the format of that conversation is basically going to be a round table where we're all going to choose uh, one or two songs that uh, really tie into our own sobriety journeys and have a discussion about it. It's not going to be a short episode like this. It's going to be an hour long special. And uh, for those of you who are inspired by it or going through your own sobriety journey, uh, we highly encourage you to jump into the conversation. In fact, uh, we're probably going to, we're going to put out a question. I'm actually going to put out that request right now. If there's any music that I'm going to broaden the horizon, if there's any music that has hit you not only on your sobriety journey, but on your journey to overcome something music for overcoming, uh, no matter what it is, we'd love to hear it. And uh, we're going to follow up on this question a few times and we'd love to give you a shout as we're leading up to that show. Uh, but we're excited to have that conversation and excited to have Jason, Jason Hanley and Kenneth Anderlich on the show. Kenneth especially is going to run from Washington, D.C. to San Antonio, and he's doing it to raise awareness for a great cause. Uh, and he has a great he has quite a journey of his own. And uh, you'll see a story on our platform pretty soon. And we're excited to uh help him out however we can with that show and also hopefully reach out to those of you who are going through similar journeys as well um yeah. but yeah i think um i think before we wrap up the show is there anything else you'd like to talk about joe i don't know i just um i'm just super stoked for the next that or the next episode and i'm just really really happy with where this um you know, it's just an idea we that me and that me and Omer are just kind of having fun with. It's just so cool to see where it's developing. I can't wait to, you know, continue on the path with this. Yeah, absolutely. Well, uh, I want to wish everybody a great Labor Day weekend. Thank you for joining us for the show, and look out for the podcast version of this on Friday. Today is Labor Day, and this episode will be out on Friday. So, thank you so much for joining us, and. Uh, Still trying to figure out how we're going to end these shows, <laughs> but I'm going yeah. to say, I'm going to say, stay whimsical and keep those earbuds going. <laughs> yes, I like that. 